So um, I want to illustrate the method of compensation in, for addition. And so the idea of compensation is that if I looked at this problem, I might see that, well, if I had this, if instead of 248, if I were actually adding 250, this problem would be a whole lot easier. So let's make this a 250. So we make it a 250 by adding 2 to it. And the problem is you can't just go around adding 2 wherever you feel like it. So you have to compensate for the 2 that you added and subtract 2 on the other side. And so we're still adding the same amount. I've just moved 2 out of the 435 over to the 248 to make the 435 down to 433, the 248 up to 250. So adding 248 and 435 is the same thing as adding 250 and 433. Now when I do that, this one's pretty easy because I can just take the 2 and the 4 make 6, the 5 and the 3 make 8, and the 0 and the 3 make 3. And so I just get 683 piece of cake. And so the compensation allows me to turn a, a problem that might have some uh, regrouping or borrowing or carrying or whatever you want to call it um, and turn it into a problem that doesn't have it that's much easier. So um, compensation is a little bit more of an art than a science, um, an art than a science. Um, some people uh, might see one thing and another student might see a different thing. So for example, one student might decide, well, maybe if I made this a perfect multiple of 10, life would be easier. So if I add 5 here, I get 470. We'll have to subtract 5 to compensate for that over here. So I get 360. Now. You might decide that that's easy enough and I could just, you could go ahead and add them, but another student might decide, well, let's add 30 more here and make this a perfect 100. So this is now 500. And then I would have to subtract 30 here. And now I'm down to 330 here. Well, 500 and 330 is easy. Um, that's just 830. And so another student might have seen the 65 and say, oh, well, uh, the, the fancy word for that is the complement. The complement of 465 in 500 is 35. So another student might have even seen, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and add 35 right off the bat and um, get 500. But then I'd have to add, uh, subtract that same 35 from the 365 over here to compensate for that. And I would have just the 330. Uh, here. So, um, you know, you, one student might see one thing, another student might have decided, well, if I'm at 470 and 360, I can just make that 830 right away because that's 700 and then another 130 makes it 830. And so you certainly made it simpler one way or the other. So now go ahead and uh, attempt this one on your own. Uh, pause the video and uh, give this one a shot using the method of compensation. All right, so I'm going to assume that you've done that. Now, in all the previous problems, I was adding to the first one and subtracting from the second one, and th but there's no magic to that. Like, in this problem, the simplest thing would be to just add 3 to the second one and subtract 3 from the first one. And so we get 281 plus uh, 700, and that would give me 981, and we'd be all set. Now, if you had decided instead to add to the first one, well, the complement of 4 in 10 is 6, so I could add a 6 to this to make it 290, or I might even see, well, let's add a 16 to this, and I would get uh, 300 on the nose, and then the 697, well, when I take 16 out of that, I would get 681. Let's write that so you might be able to read it. And so now when I add 300 and 681, I get 981. And that's not bad either. Uh, I think the adding in the second uh, some and is a little easier. The second term here will be a little easier, but adding in the first one isn't so bad either. So uh, this one works out pretty nicely also. So now I want you to give this one a shot. Uh, 674 plus 346. Pause the video and give this So I'll do this one. Um, when I look at this, the easier thing to me looks to be to add 26 here. That would be the complement in 674 uh, out of 700. So I need to subtract 26 here and I get a nice convenient 320 out of that. And so this gives me 1,020 as my final answer. Uh, you could have done the same thing in the second coordinate, but I think this way is easier.